Hello, North American Traders, Privateer FX, coming at you. Wednesday, end of the month of June, knocking on our door. Tough, rangy markets, I would say. Equities got slammed at one point today in uh, Europe, as you can see, after printing 05. We printed 27.21, which caught a lot of us uh, off guard, I would say. We're running some Euro Yen and Aussie Yen shorts. Aussie Yen looked good there for a while when we were down at 80. But we have our stop now just above 20, and it doesn't look, doesn't look safe. Um, but we're going to stick to our plan. Of course, short Aussie Yen. Uh, Euro Yen is more of a, uh, a smaller position, we'll call it rooting interest, uh, and it's basically just a risk off play. So the question is now, are stocks going to rebound and catch everybody short, or is New York going to come in and get caught long? So 642 in New York right now, everyone's in the cab or in the subway on their way let's see what they do what the New Yorkers do when they first walk in are they gonna buy S&P's down here or are they gonna sell them as far as the charts are concerned this little head and shoulders in Euro I wouldn't say worked but this is part of our sort of core short Euro Yen through we saw selling through 40 here Print it down to 25. But there's billions and billions and billions of X dollars worth of expiries. 116 a quarter, 116.50, 116 a figure, 117 a figure. So the sledding is going to be very, very tough going. Uh, we certainly are not going to be using momentum trading tactics under these conditions and it's more just trade for pips get yourself into a good average and trade for pips so if you're short euro yen it's okay short 88s go ahead buy 68s sell 78s buy 68s again it's basically a rangy directional market so this is the way to trade this kind of price action Carney came out, blabbing away, didn't really move cable. We saw a low of 89, which matches up a little bit with the 93 low, but now we've bounced back up to sort of mid-20s. Nothing really going on in cable for now. The two big levels to watch are 131 the figure and 132.90. Lord knows uh, both of them seem very far away for now. What else is out there? We got Pollots coming in very late today. I have a feeling this is going to be market moving. We've, had, we've been in a sideways consolidation pattern here in, in Dollar CAD for the last 36 hours. So sharpen your knives. Get ready for Pollots, which is, uh, I believe, 8 p.m. Swiss time, so 2 p.m. Uh, New York time. Anyway, summary type markets. We're not advising plunging into any of this. Let's just sit tight and wait for a five-star setup. And until then, try and grab your pips and stay out of any heavy losses. All right, people, I will catch you tomorrow. Ciao.